Hi, Assalamualaikum and good day to everyone. So, uh, we have gone through all the best fundamental understanding about poultry and birds. So today, I'm going to show you one of the Asian, the most celebrated dish in Malaysia, originated from Negeri Sembilan, which is Masak Lemak Cili Api with chicken. So Negeri Sembilan uh, is a state which lies on the western, western coast of in Malaysia. Uh, basically, the cuisine uh, originated from this state is actually hot and spicy. They are well known with the hot and spicy cuisine. So, um, they always use chili padi, the bird eye chili, as one of the main ingredients in the cooking. So, masala mat chili padi would be one of the most favorite dish uh, that has been served in Malaysia and also popular in the state as well, in the English Milan. So, today I'm going to show you how to make masala mat chili padi by using all the ingredients as shown right after this. Lemongrass Turmeric, fresh turmeric Fresh chicken Potato Asam glugo Bird eye chili padi, one of the hottest chili Coconut milk Now I'm going to show you how to cook masalama chili api in the Grishmilan style Which is as you can see here, all the ingredients have been prepared which is what we call it as maison plus as i mentioned in the previous uh, slides all right so maison plus is very crucial for you in order for you to make sure that you are doing things in the right time and then to make things faster all right now let's show you how to do it Okay, the reason why we put the chili and the chicken first we want to dry it for a, a, a bit because the chicken contains 70% uh, of water so we want to dry it, up, uh, dry it up a little bit while at the same time it can uh, mix well with the, the uh, main the, the paste yeah uh, as you can see here this is the what we call the, the paste which is the turmeric and the, chi the chili party has, uh, has been pounded All right it's a pounded chili party and turmeric and then uh, we mix it well to, to let the flesh of the chicken absorb the freshness of the turmeric and the chili as well. Alright, and after that, you can always put uh, smash uh, lemongrass, okay? Make sure you smash it first because you want to release out the flavor, alright? The, it's not, it will not give you the taste, but it will give you the flavor and makes the food uh, taste flavorful. Alright, and after that, you put the coconut oil. Alright, I'm using the extract of coconut oil, so I put it half. Okay. Match, uh, remember, please bear in mind that this type of recipe, if they are using moist heat method, which means that um, you need to uh, simmer it because it's, we need to simmer. Masala uh, mechilapi does not have to be boiled, it should be simmered. So make sure you may, uh, control the, the heat and not let it boil because if you let it boil, the coconut milk will break and it looks very, it, it's not really, um, it looks not. So, uh, masala api, uh, please bear in mind that it, uh, it is used um, moist method, which is simmering. You need to simmer the masala machili api and not boil it because if you boil it, the coconut milk will, uh, will come, uh, will break. 
then you add water so I add some more milk to make it more creamier and you can always replace it with something uh, uh, I mean something that much more healthier such as low fat milk or evaporated milk but authentic Muslim Islamic always use fresh coconut milk all right while we're waiting uh, this uh, this to be simmered you put one uh, asam asam kuping or asam glugo as a remember that dish uh, in Malay cooking dish uh, cuisine you need to make sure that the, the taste need to be need to be balanced which means you must have the saltiness the sourness the sweetness inside it and let it burst in, into your mouth while you uh, tasting it so that is the main idea of Malay cooking and that is the reason some of people that don't use uh, this asam gogo they will use uh, fresh tomatoes as a main uh, acidic uh, flavor taste but for me I prefer to use this all right so you put and stir it you put some salt and this is optional uh, the authentic that uh, uh, not masala chilapi they don't really use sugar but for me I prefer to use it a little bit because it will give the touch of a very subtle sweetness with this recipe while it's simmered and well blended and with you can always put the potato why we put potato this is optional but potato uh, will give uh, the thickness will give is why we cook the potato because the potato once it's cooked it will give the, the the nice consistency to the to the gravy and now it's done masalama chili api